welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Train on No Limit TV. I am Obinuchi Chinurum. I am Kukrama. Let's Talk is a midweek midweek program where we talk about trending things in for, in Portaco, favorite state, in the country, and the world at large. As long as it's trending, we talk about it here on the show. Yeah, so welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's lovely to have you guys here. You know, um, like Obinuchi said, this is our midweek uh, show. Where we talk about some of the trends. It doesn't have to be trending though, but if it is important, you know, and if it's affecting yeah. Nigerians in one way or the other, we're yeah. definitely going to talk about it here. And you can be part of our live show, of course. As we're talking, you can drop your suggestions, your contributions, and your thoughts about some of the stories that we're going to be talking about. All right. So, welcome, guys. <laughs> so, um, our first uh, story for today. Uh, we are going to be talking about the renaming of the international airport um, that happened uh, recently. I think some days ago. Yes. Yeah, and uh, lots of airports were renamed, if not all the international airports we have were renamed. And uh, Port Harcourt uh, International Airport was also renamed, of course. It was renamed to um, Obafemi Jeremiah Wuluwu International airport. airport. And people were talking about. So people had like the opinion that. Why would, they, why would they why would they change the name to, to i mean they had other people like maybe uh, uh this is alfred this is Pif, uh maybe Ken or Rollins. yeah they would have used a prominent person from, from the state, state rather yeah. than someone that is not from the state but it's federal i think it's fair it's, it's what is federal, federal is for everybody yeah. so we shouldn't do it like this is a particular state, name mm. it after someone from the state mm. or something. I don't really think there's, I don't really see why people thought it was a big deal because it's an international airport. Mm -hmm. It's the federal government, it's not like it's a state uh, owned airport or something. Yeah. Uh, so there's nothing there. And besides, the state was not the only state that had Lagos and some other states too, uh, named after people that are not even so, like from, from the state. So. Yeah, so well, I don't know what you think. Uh, do you think they should, do you think there's like, uh, a reason for people to be angry, you know, and because of the new name of the new of the, the airport. <laughs> <laughs> Moving to our next gist, our next gist is about the new cut of mark for universities and tertiary institutions in general in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Okay, the Joint Admission Matriculation Board has agreed a new cut of mark for universities and tertiary other tertiary institutions. Mm -hmm. For universities, is one forty. And for College of Education, Polytechnics is 100. What? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't understand. Um, I don't understand. This is, this is like encouraging. I feel it's, this is a medium that the government wants to use to encourage people to go to school. You know, to yeah. make education available for many people. Let it not be that if you didn't go get this very high score, yeah. We won't be admitted, and now there is a student loan. I feel this administration is just putting things in place for capacity development, especially for the youth. Okay. If you, if you have this score, this score is, I think this score is fair. Is to this, me, it's is fair. This, is this hundred? It's, <laughs> it's fair now. What? what? Even though some people, still, <laughs> some people still fail. Hundred. <laughs> I feel like uh, it's nice that. Uh, they are trying to uh, make um, the whole university education, uh, tertiary education, yes, and all that, uh, make maybe it very more, more. I don't know the word to use. Oh, mm, maybe just to level the play field, like you know, make it more easier. You know, but at the same time, I feel like so. Why did they have to stress us? Like I had I, gone before then. You understand? Like I know that when I wrote jam like that to be like if, if people score 200 self is like okay you will be shy to say it like if you score 180 180 is like you just barely pass this and say that this song is not really no book like you know really there has been well. there have been stories of people that the day i the year i wrote jam mm -hmm. but i heard stories of people that scored below 200 and they were like some attempted suicide some really cried yeah. you understand you will, people will cry lock yourself in and you're crying that 120, 190, mm -hmm. one, that means if you score 120 now, your shoulders will be high. Yes, that's the point. <laughs> Imagine 140. So, uh, what I'm not really sh uh, sure of, I feel like, so um, if it's 140 for university, yes, and, and 100, 100 for polytechnics, is that not like encouraging 
the student not to really uh put in like effort to read or something no putting effort now well for you're putting effort because as a student now that you took student loan mm -hmm. why won't you why won't you make your student loan count so you think uh, you don't know some students people will read Isn't you have to what it's things are made easy for you mm -hmm. things are made easy for you so what you are not giving any excuse you can't give any excuse to fail well they can't give any excuse to fail the jam but what of when they finally get the admission and then they said you because the university uh, learning is not it's not this one they're giving you one for you brace then. up now you brace up you know that's what you're you know what you're coming that's to what i'm trying to say so how would they brace up when you're making the play they're making it so easy for them to get probably get the admission so after getting the admission then they start going to school the universities also may still mean if you consider their their um cgpa and not you, CGPA you know, there's some no. that uh, every year you have like there's uh, a cgpa that you uh, have to have every at the end of every school session yeah, yeah. Yes. and if you if for the next time you have like uh, a a different like a lower cgpa mm. like you either work or you have to look for another department yes so i think sometimes they, some schools even push you to another department that's what i'm saying sometimes like uh, my school they don't even push another department they take you out of the department <laughs> like so i feel like it's a good um it's a good thing yes right? it's a good thing for this generation of students but at the same time let us not get carried away and forget that you actually need to read because when you finally get the admission and enter the university it's not nobody's going to hand it to you on the <laughs> not going yes to that one forty only just for you to just come come first and see for yourself mm -hmm. all right so we're going to go on a short break and when we come back we're going to be continuing our story Welcome back to Let's Talk on No Limit TV. This is a midweek show where we get to talk about some of the trending happenings in the country. Um, before we went on this short break, we were talking about uh, the renaming of the airport and we just... New yeah, jam cut off mark. Yeah. So we're going to be moving on to our next story. So I, I come across this video uh, on Twitter. So apparently this is like, uh, you know, we talked just uh, some episodes ago, we we're talking about the fact that uh, some of some people give out their children, you know, um, we're talking about the, all this domestic violence on children. Yes. We're talking, and we raised some questions about how is it, how, why is it that people are comfortable to carry, give their children out, you know? Yes, and for I house like, helps yeah, and those things. I feel like this is like, it just reminds me of that case that we're talking about because this is the video. Let's just play the video so um, you see you what, see what we're talking about. about. Yeah. 13 years. Hey! How did they do? 13 years. There you are. How did they do? Huh? 17. What about you? What about you? How did they do? Huh? 19. Do what? Huh? 18 years. Do what? Go out here. Do what? Huh? What happened to the Gapuaya? I have got better. I did not have better. I did I did I got this place. Why you prevent that? So you've seen this video. Uh, probably if you're not from Igbo, you might not really understand, but uh, this is like a, a prostitution, uh, it's a house. You know, like a house for prostitutes. You know, people go there, pay money, and that kind of stuff. And this, it's not a problem. I mean, they're sex workers, you know. That's there are brochures everywhere. Yeah, there are brochures everywhere, right? But uh, this this one is just a little bit shocking because these girls are like 13 years. They are, really, they are under age. Nothing, they are under age. They are below the age of consent, which is 18. Which yeah, is 18. Like, this is wrong. Like, this is, you say below the age. This is, this is below, below, below. Like this is not, they're not even close to 
the age of yeah like, they didn't give consent to this definitely and i feel like this this particular issue this is not the first time you see something like this Sha. but i feel like for some reason this this incident was not really loud like on social media yes i don't see people with, i don't see the major news uh, outlets posting carrying it carrying the news just few people are talking about it and i'm, I'm wondering why because i feel like if if other things like maybe lesser things things are not this um serious happens like the fact that before you know everybody's talking about it you know everybody if it's portable now that doesn't to give everywhere everybody will yes talk about it. well this is really this is really the matters of consent. This should really be the matter of consent because these are the real societal vices we are yes, that we are fighting. This is real corruption that mm. eating deep into the fabric of the country that we are fighting. These are children. These are children. Well, there's nothing you can say. These are children that ought to be in secondary schools. High yes. yes. SS1. Yes. 13 years. High yes. SS1. Yes. High there is no way you want to fast forward your education yes. that you'll be 13 years. SS1. Highest class level. And you are being used as a. I, I'm going to ask is what I want to ask now is mm. did these people like their parents? Mm. Do they did their parents really know this is what they are I, doing? I don't think any parents. I, I may be wrong, Joe, but I don't think any parents would knowingly give out their young daughter, their senior daughter, to go and do sex work. It's not possible. I feel like probably just like I was saying, maybe these people that have. Um, all these houses, these brothels and stuff like that. I feel like most times they go to the villages because they have the target very vulnerable families that don't really, you know, that are not yes. well to do because those are the, mostly the ones that give out their children. That, and they are not enlightened. Exactly. And now they take the girls from their parents, promise heaven and earth. You know, we are taking them to school, they are fine and everything. And then at the end of the day, they bring them here. Because and if you watch this video, you see mm -hmm. that there's one particular girl in this video. Like you see that she's like she's even she has attitude like as they're asking them their their age. Like you can just see the attitude on her face. Like I feel like that one now she does not want she does not want to see the wrong again. Like she doesn't understand that she's being abused. Like that's like an abusive situation. Like she's uh, uh, there's a word they call it. Like she's she's being exploited. That's what I want to use. So it's that bad because I, I don't even know what will happen like to the person first of all that owns this place. And most that means it's a brothel with underage children. Yes, basically. And I'm not I'm saying like the person that owns this house, I don't know I don't know what punishment they're going to because this is not something you just gonna say you give him give him or her ten years imprisonment. No, but it's not even a person. Maybe they are persons. Persons, I be because it might not be one person. I don't yes. know nothing. The men that go here to patronize. What are you thinking? This, like, what, what is the problem? How, is everything okay at home? Please, there is something wrong with your morals. Like, that is just. There's something wrong with, with, with everything about the person. Like your your mental your mental state, your emotional state. But as a human being, there's something wrong with you because. Don't be surprised there. Eh? Don't be surprised. These people that go to sleep with this girls now mm -hmm. they actually have daughters daughters of this of age course. that they are protecting and they are protecting and you're exploiting another person's own you do know it's on scenarios there eh? it's on scenario these brother owners now may be sending goodies home mm. maybe taking care of these yeah. families you understand to cover up what they are doing mm. but we can't tell we don't we, we didn't really know the mm. story and the thing is that it's not getting the attention on social media that's it just, should be getting yeah, that's just my major issue here, I feel like this is this is a very serious matter. Like it's not even something you're supposed to laugh about. Like it's a very serious offense. Like it's punishable by law. It's even like morally, like normally as a human being, it's, it is wrong and it, it is something that needs more media attention. I feel like it's a serious that should be talking about because it's like every three three months, five months, we have stories like this. And just how many months ago, uh, the story of, of the. Uh, baby factory like uh, in Alu here yes. that was busted like it's something yes. like this just very little girls 14 years 16 years like they were giving how much how much did they even pay itself uh, what's the, the, the total they will give her is this 200,000 the much? highest I heard from that story was 500 k the highest in my the highest K. story and that from that case, you're not even sure if if it will happen but they are carrying on their age children to like, do this type of thing that 
they will they you not know, somehow these children will live with some kind of you know it's going to it's affect, affect them. the way yeah. they the way they think it will really affect their emotions yeah. affect their thoughts because some of them might have gotten used to this thing now so imagine there has to be like a, a re-education first like they have to re-educate them first, to, to them change their mind to, to tell them mind. this is and not a way of life it's it's really bad i just hope that uh, whoever is responsible for this is is dealt with like accurately. let the law take its course that's all and let it not be a light sentence please it doesn't have to be just a light sentence like it has to be something very brutal I know uh, jungle justice is not nobody. Ju jungle justice is not advisable. But uh, if, if if the law is going to take care of it, they should make sure that it, they they use it to set an example so that so other people that is, will learn yeah. and hopefully stop this kind of very uh, silly and very these are dirty acts now. Very bad. <sighs> very bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's very bad. Yeah. Sorry, we're laughing, but it's, it's not a laughing matter. It's, it's, actually it's very, very serious social vice. Yeah, it's so more people should talk about it. And I think more people should just keep your eye on the ground. You know, sometimes all these anti and people that are so carry small, small. Yes. Yeah, sometimes let's just put our eyes on the ground, though, and just be observing because something like this might be even happening in your area. And you will I have no know. idea. You understand? So I think everybody should come together and be our brother's keeper. And our sister's keeper. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> our sister's keeper. So we are moving on to our next topic. So uh, uh, some time ago, we were talking about the whole happy boy uh, situation, you know, the whole scholarship saga and everything. Yes, and they are happy. When they went, how they went to Cyprus and mm -hmm. doing big boy life. Yeah, and all that, you know. So uh, after that, the parents of Deborah, the girl that was uh, killed, you know, sometime last year, right? Yes. You know, they, they came out as well. You know, the same time frame to talk about that. They were talking about the fact that things are not the way. Uh, the they, pastor promised yeah, them. Not, you know, they were talking. So, uh, uh, Apostle Chibuzo, of the general overseer yeah. of uh, OPM, uh, he did a press briefing and he he thought he he aired his mind. He was talking about uh, the way he felt about some of these things that have happened. So I'm just going to play a short video. God will be God will let you go if you do you know how many things that came to my head? Especially when the when the happy boys thing happened. Do you know a lot of things that came to my head? I regretted sending them. I regret I regret so many things. I said, is it that bad? I know how many millions I spent on each of them to travel. Next one alone was two million. Ticket alone. You know they for school fees. I regret it. When all this has happened, in 50, 24, 25 free schools, how many individuals or churches operate 24 free schools in Nigeria? How many is running free hospital? How many people have free restaurants in a university? Why? Why are you trying to discourage me? Why? If I decide to Because I mean, how many pastors or no, how many people individuals do you know? You know, doing this humanitarian work, eh, it's not easy because some people can have all the money in the world and they don't know how to help. You know, they don't have the heart to, yes, help, to, do that. to help. And you see somebody like this that has helped like lots of people. I feel like no matter what happened, even though there was issues, do you understand? Like from Deborah's parents and the happy boys, even though there was issues, like it's something that something that you should have talked about with him personally. Rather than going rather than, putting it out there. Because I feel like as as I, I, to be honest, at some point I feel like is this like a like a premeditated so is it like like because everything was coming back to back. Right? Yeah, it was like immediately the, those happy boys eh just opened way. Yeah. For being outside hearing and um, other stories from other people other that have been sponsored like, to Cyprus yeah. that he has stopped taking care of them. All of a sudden, Deborah's family, family came into the... I was like, it's like people were going to hunt these people. Like, well, were they, were, is it that people, they came out on their own? Mm. Or people went to like tell were, them, you were understand? Paid, but maybe but, they were engineered to like, try to paint him in a bad light. Because I feel like... Apostle is like the only 
only pastor I'm sorry to say in Nigeria that does the free school, free school, free restaurants. Yeah, they are, free they are, hospital. They are other ones. They are other ones. The other ones, but he's like the other one, but his own just he's he's not his love. The other one, he's not he's not he's not doing something that is hidden that you have to. Um, other people are not doing things that are hidden. Yeah, so tell there, me about, there tell are me about other, other person that you know. Pastor Ibrahim has sponsored a uh, heart scholarship for for students. Mm -hmm. One thousand students, like he does it over and over and over again. Okay, there are other, there are other pastors that maybe because they'll just do it and social media will not. You know, social media is the way social media works. Mm -hmm. Understand? Mm -hmm. So if you don't know, mm -hmm. you don't do. Yeah. But there are people, even um, pastors that maybe their church hasn't grown to be well known. Yeah. They are still doing humanitarian yeah. services. There are people that are not pastors that are doing humanitarian services. No, humanitarian you services understand? Is not. Uh, just for pastors. Yes, yeah, it's for everybody. It's for everybody. No matter for everybody. As, a, as a human being, as a, as a human being on earth that has money to an extent, you know, that can give, it, it should be uh, like something easy for you to do. But it, my point is that it's not easy yeah, for yeah. you to do it. And especially somebody that is doing it back to back, like back to back, lots of people. And then you're now coming now to now try to paint the man in a bad way. And people, I, I was, I, I was reading some of the comments. Um, on this video, and some people were now say like, you sh like, well, why is he talking about it? And I'm like, why? So why should not, he talk about? Will he watch his image go down the drain? Yeah. Like that, you are tarnishing his image. He needs to come and speak for himself. Mm -hmm. He needs to tell, say, this is what's happened. For to, for you to have a stand in any in any case or yeah. in any scenario, you have to hear from both parties. Yeah. You need to hear from this person, hear from this person before you say, okay, this is my stand, this is what I, this is what I, this is my take yeah. of this thing. Happy boys have been talking over and over and over mm. and over again. Just this one time mm. he spoke and you're telling him he should not, should not talk. No, he was supposed to, I don't say anything wrong with what he did. He was supposed to, at some point, I, I, I actually expected him to come out to talk because at some point it was like it was a targeted something. Yeah. So it's good that he talked. He, he has aired his mind, and I feel like he should not be discouraged because I, I know it's hard, but he should not be discouraged, you know, because of just a few people and, you know, because he can decide, just like he said, he can decide to stop all the things that he's doing, and nobody yeah. will put a gun to his head and because it's his decision. But I feel like he should not be discouraged, like, he should just keep up doing the good work. And every other person out there that is like, doing this humanitarian work should just keep up with the good work. Like, it's not easy, like, God bless you guys for, you know, looking out for other human beings, but it's really not easy. Yes, any, just remember that any energy you have released into the universe, the universe will give it back yeah, to you. Definitely. Okay, karma really works. Yeah, karma. About our next discussion, which is about the boat meets that happened in Marina Resort, killing, like, we are not really sure of the number, but there are 13 that boarded the boat, mm -hmm. four okay, are 14, feared, 14, okay, 14. Yeah. Four that feared, four are feared to be dead. Mm -hmm. Why eleven have been rescued so far? It was really a but sad with experience. injuries as wow. well. It was really sad. So, what do you think is to blame for this? Is it? Are we supposed to blame anybody? Well, they went for shoes. <laughs> Can't you just live your life? <laughs> Can't you just live your life? Like, I feel uh, I will really blame the people that were in charge of this. The boat, the, boat. the boat crews as a whole. I feel they were not, they were not, um, like call it, things put in place mm. to ensure the safety of these people. But they had like their life vest on from okay. what I, from this, the few videos I saw online. But I feel like probably, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure because I know people were talking about it. I'm not sure there was uh, anybody of like, um, like a life like in the pool they say the lifeguard right like or a diver or something okay like a diver or something but i feel like that's like the problem like somebody the 14 of them i'm not sure there was any that kind of crowd probably we needed they needed another boat with um people that are, i don't know they call them divers or something because the video they were not really but they the just put safety personnel yeah, safety, safety personnel that were to be around I don't know. 
it has happened, it has happened. It's a really fun experience. And to think that they were like in their final year, like they're, they're final year off, students. Almost running off from school. Imagine just going for a boat cruise with your with your colleagues and friends and then some people it don't ends come up back. in so much tears. It was really sad. It was really sad. The ones that died rest in peace, you know, and I feel like let's uh, these people anything about what are safe is just it's just they I mean we just come from some marine some marine wahala. Okay, I shouldn't laugh about this because this is a very terrible experience too. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what I've just been doing back to back. We have been having so much Trending gist about water. Water this period. But yes. I think water is. And we are in rainy season, so. Mm -hmm. I think water is. is water is, <laughs> is one of like the most powerful elements, like, normally. Because, I mean, the, the earth, we have more water than, than land, land. Yes. You know? So I feel like water is very vital and it's very dangerous. And that's why I've never been on the boat cruise before, actually. And sometimes I feel like. That's what I just think about because I don't even know how to swim. So imagine going on a boat. It's, it's actually very scary, you know, if you don't it's know scary, how to swim. It's scary, but it's nice. It's nice. I actually, I actually would want to go on a boat cruise, definitely. definitely. But you don't know how to swim. But I don't know how to yeah, swim. Yeah, I avoid water with anything in me. Please. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll be. But, anyways, uh, it was really a sad experience. And I wonder how the family. You know, when you're about ending medical school, for that pre such a years, such a prestigious God, profession. After how many years of studying, the school stress. Just went to chill off school stress. Just, just went to chill off school stress, and it comes out very, very negative. To the ones we lost, may so rest in peace, and to the ones that we found still alive, we pray we get well soon. And they recover from this shock because yeah. apparently <laughs> they're going to be scared. Imagine. It's really sad anyways, but we're going to move on to more light-hearted matters, you know, entertainment. Let's move on to our entertainment segment. Because <laughs> I don't know, I think the death, death to me, it's, it's just really bringing down my, my energy. So uh, let's move over to the entertainment side. Of course, do not forget, like as we said earlier, you can be part of this conversation. You know, this story that we've talked about, you can... Drop your contributions, your thoughts, you know, on the comment section, you know. Tell us what you think. I mean, lots of, we've talked about lots of things from the Yes, airport. and we need what, we need your opinions, we need your comments, we need you to air your views. Tell us what you think about whatever topic we have talked about let's on the talk. show. Let's yeah, let's talk. Let's Remember to still follow us on our social media platforms. Of course. No Limit on that called Niger on Instagram. Mm -hmm. No Limit TV on Facebook. No Limit TV on YouTube. Everywhere. That's our, our handle. Everywhere. So connect with us. But before um, we go on another short break, uh, we're going to be talking about the hottest gist now <laughs> in the country. This is like, you know, if, since the since most today, trending. The most trending gist in the country right now. Okay, so just sit back, relax, and brace yourself. I know you know about the matter. <laughs> we'll go on the short break. Before we come back, we're going to be talking about it. Really interesting. <laughs> All right, welcome back to Let's Talk on No Limit TV. Uh, this is still our midweek show where we're going to talk about some of the trending happenings in the country. So we've talked about uh, some things. We've talked about the airports, the naming. We've talked about um, jam score. Talked about uh, the uh, boat mishap that happened at the Marina Yes, resort. and the underage brothel at Anambra State. Yeah, and then we'll talk about the opium pastors' uh, press briefing uh, that happened uh, some, I think, some days ago. Yeah, well, some days back. Some days back, right? So now we're moving on to the entertainment matters. And we're going to start off with the trend, most challenges, like I said before, the videos. <laughs> the videos scandal. scandal again. <laughs> social media is still buzzing like it's, it's still trending right now like everybody is giving their opinion and IG and Twitter you know, right? everywhere and I feel like it's, it's actually very funny it's very funny because I don't know what I don't know <laughs> exactly what he was thinking because first of all and I think what triggered this whole matter I feel like this not a lot of 
this part, this point, because first of all, uh, the matter, the way the first, the first people that talked about the matter was just lover. I know just lover. <laughs> This is like a whip fashion. Just <laughs> fashion against <laughs> celebrities. Whip all fashion against celebrities. <laughs> because uh, the, the matter appeared on Just Love Her. And then uh, when it appeared, when Just Love talked about it, lots of people, uh, 30 BG, uh, started going to attack the girl, the Anita girl in question. You know, and then at first she actually thought that she said she was hacked. You know, she denied. I think she came out the first time, she said something, but then again, she came back and said she was hacked, you know. But that was not of recent, too. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It was years she, back. She said, it was years back. Yes. So she said uh, she was she was hacked. And then, Petty BG was still attacking the girl, you know, like maybe she was lying and anything. And then she brought receipts. She brought receipts, and the internet has been on fire since then. Like, <laughs> like, how she did a pregnancy test and uh, it was positive on live like she did it live like yes she did a live video like, and did a pregnancy test then she also said she did a blood blood yeah, test yeah, before and brought the result before the i think the the, the 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 blood test was before yeah the live I think she, video. Did, she did the second the live video for like evidence like yes for live evidence yeah, that's see evidence i feel like no first of all my if you, you needed to read the charts like that's like the chat that she posted. That's like what you just smart though because this is apparently somebody that uh, is still mourning because mourning the death of the son. Not still mourning now. He's the mourning days are over. Really? Uh, he's he's still mourning. I mean, this last Father's Day he was talking about this. Uh, he was talking about okay. his. He's still mourning. Morning. It's been barely how many months since. Uh, but the mourning is not like. Uh, he's still in grief like oh it's not something that will just happen and you just forget about it yes. even in the next five years you will still feel, you still feel that yeah but apparently mm. while his wife Choma was still in the morning process he was already exploring you know? <laughs> he was already exploring his options and, all. and i feel like for somebody that first of all the video is a is a big name yes he's a, a big name and uh i feel like he he would have there are a lot of things he would have done differently especially like the pregnancy thing is just the icing on the cake now the fact that she's pregnant i mean even if you were to and Choma is pregnant too so i is, i just is, is, is flying that Choma is, is pregnant that's just i wouldn't tell one particular g that's saying she's carrying twins i don't know how, how know? i don't know how they know she's carrying twins <laughs> but it is is the fifth baby mama from the line of events. This is the fifth yes. baby mama yeah. that we are coming to know. Mm. Yes, we are coming to know because according to from the chats that we saw mm. online, mm. I feel. <laughs> Those, like what happened? Was my 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 main concern now is Shoma. How will she feel? Mm. Because this is the second time mm. she the, in their in her mm. relationship with David. Mm. This is the second time. That the video is being others. involved. I'm sure they in, the second there is no other. These are the ones we know. These are the ones that became public because of baby issue. That's what I'm telling you. Because even from the chats, you're seeing that it's telling you that this girl is not the first, not the last. Like, I, yeah, that to from the chats. From but the, my main concern in, since I heard this whole baby mama thing mm -hmm. is how is Shoma feeling? You know, she has not, she, she can't come out, even though the video has come out of the loss of his son. Mm -hmm. Okay, she's, she's, the, she's the mother. Mm -hmm. Okay, there was a time when the four baby mamas um, just came out. Mm -hmm. You know, she, she moved out of his house. Okay. Was staying with her son in her own house. Okay. Then, because when they reconciled, she came back to the house. Mm -hmm. And they were together before the son had this, before the son died. Yeah. Okay, so, you, you know, this, I don't. I, I, I'm just trying to understand how her emotions would be right now. Mm -hmm. Like how would she feel? It would just be personally. I'm like I'm talking from my own. How yeah. I would feel. I won't feel this way, please. <laughs> she, I, can't, I can't experience that. <laughs> how she would. It would be a mixture of emotions, you mm -hmm. know. And if she's maybe fear, pregnant, grief, anger, everything. Everything. And if she's truly pregnant, then it's really. It's really not good. Imagine a pregnant woman 
Yeah, um, more emo- normally when women are pregnant, their emotions and everything. Their emotions very, swing. Yeah. Alone, plus yeah imagine this, this kind of heavy external juice. force. This is heavy juice. I feel like the video could have done better, like in the sense of even though he was going to do anything, like at least using protection, you know, because why why are you not using protection? And this lady is an only fan. She, she has, has an only fan. Very interesting actually. She has That's only fans. interesting. The, since I heard this just there, the thing that's not been captivating me is mm-hmm. the only fans and how Trema react. These are the two things I'm just thinking <laughs> about. That is two things. When she she's she has an only fans. Yeah. Then how would you if I feel Trema yeah, Trema would have absorbed it if okay, this is another person. This is yeah, just no, another so one. If, but if, if the, this is the, only she has an only fans. And the pregnancy thing is what is making this whole if if that there was no baby involved, like yeah, it would have been okay, that's just another Even there's a baby involved, there'd been a baby involved before. The, been a baby before like, before with when Trauma was it's it's still with him. Yeah, but I mean that girl already gave birth before she was married to Trauma. You know, she was pregnant. Okay, with okay. The fire, you now know. you are talking about the marriage. Yeah, oh, it's that's what, that's true. What I'm saying now. It's that true. Time, it's true. He was not married to her. Yes. They got yeah. married after. Uh, they got married after the, after the, the death of the child. Died. So that's all that. That's what I'm saying. That's different. Now he's married to her. What's marriage? You know about. Uh, to you, death was part. Uh, loyalty, was, trust, and yes. all that. And then barely how many months into the marriage? Boom. Yeah, we're, we're hearing. Baby bells, baby, baby bells are ringing. <laughs> I, I think he could have, he's a public figure. Normally, I, I, you cannot tell him uh, not to live his life. Yes. But he should be careful because. Oh, oh, you are um, before the car. Yeah, 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 in the spotlight. And you are married. You are in the spotlight. And I mean, come on. Most of these girls who are going to keep the child. Most of them will definitely, it's David Dona, now. Most of them will keep the child. The child support alone. Uh, hey, you will be paying child support. I don't know, Shabba, but the girl might decide to use. To keep the baby. I don't well, know. The, the the lady in question here says she doesn't want to get married. She, she even told Trauma that I don't I don't want yeah, to she, take your she's man. She's not trying to take her place or anything like that, you know. But I don't know if she's going to keep the baby. But if she's going to keep the baby, well, we have a new baby to look out for. You know? <laughs> one the baby. Those are the baby. <laughs> you know, whatever happens, though, I feel like Trauma. Tomorrow, I wish I had. I wish I had. Let's call Annie Zibia on the phone. Ah, you know, please. Let's call Annie. Please. Let's call Annie Zibia because you know. Tell her Annie, how she Annie goes. Would, uh, tell her. Be a very good mentor now. Annie, they're the same WhatsApp group. I'm, I'm thinking like the video is actually yeah, has surpassed to Baba now. At least Baba, we know he has two baby mamas outside his wife, and he has we've not had any other child after that time, yeah. you know, but the video is like every year there's a new child in the picture, you know, so I, don't, I feel bad for trauma on behalf of yes, trauma. I don't know so how she's going to take it. Her emotions know. right now will be so mixed. I don't and I'm, I'm, you know, David, I want, I'm wondering how, what he's feeling, wherever he is, because obviously if you read the chat, he, he knew that the drama was going to, yes, he knew. Pandora's box was going to open, and he tried telling the girl, you know, to about the child and all that kind of stuff. So I, I'm wondering how he will be feeling where he is. Like nobody wants to even be in this situation right now. Like what? In the video, also his emotions will still be mixed. You know, uh, it, no, it's it's his image that is that yeah, is being he dragged have here. Of that when he did not use his image, is, his image that is being dragged. He should have been thinking of that when he was in the act. That's how do you point. how? So he did not think about that when he was in the act. It's after the the evidence of the act and how he wants to be thinking. Like at some point of the chat, he was talking about that that she knows his condition. You did not think about your condition when you were doing humanitarian work. You <laughs> <laughs> were sharing. You not think about your, your condition. condition. I think it was he. He could have done better. Honestly, I feel like uh, nobody is saying he cannot find. Uh, if that's what he wants to do, there's no problem, but just use protection so that at least baby will not be an issue. Do you understand? Yeah, because yeah. baby now is just what is... Uh, what if... Uh, uh, what if Shoma is not pregnant? Yeah. Yeah, because people are saying she's pregnant, she's pregnant. What if she's not pregnant? You know, so that we have to think about that one as well. Yeah, well, anyways, we'll see how all this You see how the drama unfolds. Unfold, F- you know? Fingers crossed and but let's def- watch but def- do you know what's drama unfolds. Do you know what's his own... What is funny to me is that a lot of people are defending the video. 
So, what are they trying to defend individual for? They are wanted to kill uh, Yale Doche. When he married the second when wife. They wanted to cut his neck. They want to kill Tumba Baba, but David Stone Naipu suddenly and now they are And I like him. saying David is an A, A this artist. He can do whatever he wants. He can do whatever he wants, but he got married. He's married. No one, nobody forced him to get married. Exactly. Okay. He, got married. he got married willingly, in secret. Yeah, he's talking about his wife, back to back. Like, since every interview of this is new album, Timeless, yeah. there's no interview. At least, uh, at least three out of five interviews he has talked about his wife. And you remember that song? Uh, no competition for my lady. Obviously, there's lots of competition. <laughs> he, he was saying no competition for his lady, but obviously, there's lots of competition. And you're, creating, you're the one creating the competition for her. I think that he, he, like, in some of the songs, like, he was even calling this Anita. Like Anita, the song. Yes. Call Anita. And it was the song for Choma. Yes. Choma was the big scene in that video. Yeah, that was our Choma. So we called Anita. And Anita, I got the girl. The girl said they've been on and off since 2017. Wow. Actually, it's not like he just said new. They've been on and off since. Then, and they now came together in, during the pandemic. Mm, I, no, I think she said she was in a relationship during the pandemic. So probably that time they were not because relationship. So, but. They've been linking up back to back. Anyways, I bet they be so. Now, man, you be, you know, you can, you, your weight will reach. You, you, you can take care of it. You can take care of it. I mean, he did it so he can, he can take care of it, you know. But uh, it's just trauma. I don't know how she I, I don't know how she will feel, but. We'll, we'll see how it goes now. But in case she needs advice, I feel like she needs to call Annie. Mm. Annie Dibia is the best person to, <laughs> you know, talk about. Please, her. on a very. Let's switch to another topic that will make us very happy. Yes. Why are you not happy? This topic. I am. I. I have mixed emotions. I have mixed emotions for trauma. I'm not even considering the video right now. I've just yeah. been thinking, how would trauma feel? How like yeah. only fans trauma? That was. I thought that's what has been in my head. And if the girl is even going to keep the child and give birth, just imagine. <laughs> if it turns out not to be the video, so. obviously he was going to do a DNA test. The 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 other uh, child from Larissa, the boy. She did a DNA test, that's how. Even mm. before she did the DNA test, she, if you will see the boy, you know it's the video so <laughs> it like, it it like his dad. But if she's going to keep it, obviously he's going to do a DNA test. Okay. And I feel like she will not. I don't. I feel like it will be the video's child. Yeah, I don't think she was. Come on, just have this strong. <laughs> I, no, I don't think she's going to lie because why would she? Why would she go to bring all this drama? I feel like uh, in all in all, in everything, she has, she's. Actually, the one that's going to gain from this whole situation because it's more clout to her. She, she has money, you know. I don't know how Chama is going to feel, but I hope um, she's okay wherever she is. Uh, we will be okay, but she's going to sort herself, Sha. Yes, yeah, so please, our Odogun, mm, giant of Africa, won the VT Awards of the Best International Act. Yes, he has won it four times in a row. Okay. 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2023. So, like, he's like, the African. Isn't that amazing? He's is bringing amazing. Nigeria and Africa to positive limelight. Mm. And it's wonderful. Mm. It's very, it's, it's news to suiting our soul among. <laughs> in, <laughs> in, 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 I miss the whole David Doe. Me, I don't thing. see. I actually, I'm actually enjoying all the dashboards that's going on. I don't like drama. <laughs> I don't like I'm enjoying it. the drama. I mean, I did not create the drama. Somebody created the drama, so I'm well, just. Who are you to, not to watch? I need to just watch how everything unfolds. So anyways, uh, congratulations to Burner Boy yes. for winning the best uh, international uh, artist. You know, this is the fourth time. He's, I think he's ha he has the most best international artist award from like in Africa. Yes. So I think and uh, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's nice. Amazing, Please right? keep up the good work. We yeah. wish you more awards to come your way. Yeah, and of. David Doe also was at the BET of uh, yes, he was, was at the BET. He performed, you know, he performed. Some he performed of his, his uh, song from his new album. New album, and it was actually a very great, wonderful performance. I really enjoyed it. It was really, really. I, really there's nice. this song that this. Is it unavailable? Yeah, 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 yeah. I really like that unavailable performance. Yeah. That particular one. Yeah. It's going to be because I love the song personally. Yeah. But it was nice. Anyways, mm -hmm. they still brought Nigeria to. Good, uh, yes. I feel like right now, Nigeria and musically, I think everybody, we are everywhere. It's not like before. Yes, that. we are. Yeah, we are everywhere. Yeah, so. we are everywhere. And they've been doing amazing. Doing amazing, you know. They've been doing amazing. 
Like, amazing. that has been an so, amazing artist. He is amazing. He is, artist. He's he an, is amazing an amazing artist. artist. You know, just, just unfortunate that, you know, he, this kind of drama usually comes up. The like drama that. just paints it. But it will still go down. Definitely. Definitely. It will still go it's down. It's part of that celebrity now. life that you need to face. It's just been a few days. It will still die down. But I uh, just hope everything that works Ends out well. good, yeah, for everybody involved, you know. So, some people are saying Choma should leave the marriage yeah. and everything. Yeah. But I think Choma has the last say. She decides if she wants to stay with him or if she wants to leave. But um, I think that is all we have for you. Guys. On today's episode. Today, I hope you had an amazing time with us. Uh, don't forget to... Drop your contribution, drop your. This, we have talked about a lot of things. Right, this day we don't matter. I'm sure lots of people are talking about <laughs> let, let us know what you. Let us know what you're thinking. Yes. You know, let us know what you're thinking. You know, thank you guys so much for being with us. You know, thank you guys for always tuning in. You know, sharing our work. You know, and you know, just always being there for our brand. We appreciate you guys, uh, and we hope to see you uh, next week, right? Yes, remember, save the date next week, Wednesday. Yeah. Let's talk on Olimi TV. Yeah, so before we go, of course, you have to give a shout out to the guys behind the camera. You know, they're always there working, making sure everything, you know, goes smoothly. You know, but you always see us, but the guys behind the camera, they're always there. So thank you guys, you know, keep doing the great work. And of course, thank you to our boss, Mr. Casey Anno. And of course, thank you to our viewers, our audience. For being there. We love you. Mm, I like that <laughs> Alright, so before we go, do not forget you can follow us on our social media handles, of course, No Limit TV on this corner jam on Instagram, No Limit TV on our Facebook page, No Limit Facebook account, No Limit TV YouTube. You can um, follow us and, of course, uh, talk to us. And do not forget you can also advertise your brand with us. Yes. yes. We have the best platform for you to advertise your brand. Whatever, whatever the business is, yeah. put the call through. Yeah, whatever. If you're a pastor, you're a dancer, if you have an OnlyFans account, <laughs> you please, we don't do OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do <laughs> OnlyFans, please. We don't please. do that. If, what, what you are, it's business is business, though. Please, if we you don't have, do OnlyFans. What about brand you're doing? Please, call us. We know how to package it. <laughs> All right, so thank you guys so much. Of course, thank you can follow you so us much. on social media. My name is Queen Kama everywhere. Obunichi underscore Chino Room on Instagram. Obunichi Chino Room on Facebook. Yeah, As so it. if you want to connect with us, feel free. Definitely. Yeah, so until next week, Wednesday, save the days, keep the days with us. We love you. Bye. Bye.